Hi guys and welcome back to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new extra large um, triangle shawl tutorial. This is the C2C pattern, so from one corner to the other. Um, we start here in this corner and then we add um, one more pack per row until we reach um, you know, the full width that we want. Um, it's really simple, honestly, with um, double crochets and uh, with a eight size yarn and an eight size crocheting hook. How exactly this I'm going to show you now. Have fun! Okay guys, so this is the tweed yarn from Teddy. Um, it's a really, really big ball of yarn, um, a special edition, so they don't always have this. Um, it's, yeah, a really cute light pink color. It's 96% acrylic, 4% polyester, 300 grams and 265 meters. Um, so just really large. <laughs> this is meant for a size 8 crocheting hook. And that's actually also what I'm going to use. Um, this is my size 8 here. Let me show you. And let's get started. So let's see if we can get the inside out here from the middle. So this is a little more difficult than I thought. Let's see if I can pull it out with my hook. Um, I'm actually not really reaching all the way in. Let's see, I might have to pull out a big chunk here. Mm, okay, no, here we go. I think this, this must have the middle. Um, Let's see, I did it's actually less wool or yarn that I pulled out here than I thought I was going to pull out. Um, all right, guys, so here's the beginning. I just had to dig a little bit. Um, let's get started. I'm going to start here with um, some chain stitches. I'm going to do um, six. So three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Then here we go backwards into the fourth one like this. And we start with double crochets. Then a next one into the next stitch and a third one into the next one. And then our first pack is actually ready. So really simple, super quick and nice and big. <laughs> Um, I was at first a little concerned to see if the hook actually worked well with this hook, but honestly it works well. So here I'm going, I'm doing again six chain stitches. This is number six. I turn it all around and then we do the same thing. So we go backwards into the fourth stitch here and then we do three double crochets, um, one into each of the stitches that we have here left over. Number two, and here comes number three. Then we have two of these packs here, and then to connect them, uh, we kind of move towards, and then here around the chain stitches we have here, we do a slip stitch, and then we have connected the two packs. And then we add three cha chain stitches here, and then around the chain stitches here of the first pack, we will add three um, double crochets. So this is really easy. Um, I'm not going to go into the stitches. I just go around uh, the chain stitches. And that's how quickly we make another pack. Um, so the direction of the pack um, is different to the one from the first pack. This one goes like diagonally to the right and the second one goes diagonally to the left. Um, yeah, and that's going to keep switching off. Then here again to start the new row, we add six um, chain stitches. That's how every row is going to start. Then we turn it around and again we do four, I mean sorry, we go back into the fourth stitch and do um, three double crochets, one into each chain stitch. All right, then again we connect the two packs with a slip stitch. We add three chain stitches and around the chain stitches of the row before we add three double crochets. Okay, um, so except for the first pack here of the row, um, where we go into the um, actual stitches of the row before, for the other packs we just go around the chain stitches of the row before. 
And so in every row, we're going to add one pack. So the third row has three packs. The fourth row is going to have four packs. The fifth row is going to go and have fifth pack, five packs. Okay, so we can see here one in the first row. You can see this here. Uh -huh. And this is facing like diagonally to the left. Um, also the same as in the third row, so it always keeps switching off. The second row is kind of facing, facing to the right diagonally. And then again in the third row, we have it diagonally to the left. Or, you know, obviously it depends on how you hold it. <laughs> um, yeah, and so this is how this triangle is going to grow. In the fourth row, we're going to have four packs. We start again with um, six chain stitches. We turn it around. And then back into um, this chain stitch here, the fourth chain stitch, and we add three um, double crochets, one per stitch. Then we connect with a slip stitch, we add three chain stitches, and then we add three double crochets into the chain stitches here, or around the chain stitches here of the row before, of the pack of the row before. One, number two, and here comes number three. And again, connect with a slip stitch, three chain stitches, and again, three double crochets here around the chain stitches of the pack of the row before. Then slip stitch again to connect the packs. And then again, for the last time in this row, three chain stitches and then three double crochets. Number one, number two, and number three. All right, so now number row number four is done. So we have the um, right angle basically on the bottom here. And after four rows, you know, it's already a pretty big, um, yeah, it's been growing pretty, pretty quickly. I'm going to continue for three more rows here. Um, so you always start with the six chain stitches and then in between you do the chains, I mean, sorry, you do the slip stitches and just add three chain stitches for the next pack in the middle. All right, guys, so here is my update. As you can see, this has already grown quite a bit. Um, here's my hand again to compare uh, the sizes. I am here in my row number 10. Uh, I just finished row number 10. So we have 10 packs in this, uh, in this row. And... Um, yeah, because we've been adding one pack per row and it's just growing really, really nicely. Um, it's really nice and tight, to be honest. Like, it's nice and compact, I think. Um, so it's nice and warming, that's for sure. Um, it's really nice and cozy. And I have some more wool left, so I'm going to continue crocheting. And then I'll give you another update. Okay, guys. So here we are at a pretty big triangle scarf or shawl. The long side has about 150 centimeters or more. And as you can see, it's still the same pattern. I have just been continuing in the exact same, uh, yeah, exact same way. Um, no change here. I just keep adding one pack per row. And yeah, they're always yeah, facing the other way, depending on the row. And it's always, yeah, just the same exact same pattern and just because the wool's really big with my size 8 crocheting hook here it's just a quick progress um yeah as you can see here it's really really nice and big uh really nice and voluminous really cozy and just a big shawl um from the big ball of yarn i have a little bit of wool left but um according to what i used in my last row i don't think this is going to be enough for another whole row so I'm just gonna finish off the scarf right here. I'm gonna cut it off here, pull out the thread, pull it tight, and then obviously we're gonna go and have to go and hide the beginning and the end thread. Um, yeah, so we kind of just finished off here. This is the beginning thread here. Um, obviously this has to be hidden, but yeah, otherwise the scarf is fully done. Um, yeah, this is the end scarf again. And yeah, then the scarf is just fully done. It's really easy, it's really quick, really nice and big. And obviously, I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you will be notified when we have new videos. See you next time here at DIY Ideas.